What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Back with another video. Good to be back. Um, I have took just took a small break. I'm trying to make a video every week, but got a new PC and just trying to work with the setup and everything like that. But that video is not about that. This video is actually about Apex Legends. And if the game is getting boring, if it's dying out, if it's getting dry, and some things I've been reading and some updates to come and all this stuff, I just wanted to share some information with you. And maybe shift your perspective a little bit. That's what I'm about. I'm about just changing your ideas and maybe your mindset and just giving you a different point of view to look from. So I wanted to talk about two points of view. Number one, from a casual gamer. And number two, from a YouTuber, content creator, Twitch streamer. Um, is Apex Legends dying? Now... I don't know how many of you are out there. If you're watching this video, you're probably a little bit above the level of a casual gamer. You're pretty interested in gaming uh, if you're searching YouTube videos and watching videos about Apex Legends. So um, I will address you guys first. Uh, many of you, I will consider you the casual gamer, maybe a little bit above like I mentioned. But you do not do not play the game as much as a YouTube creator or a Twitch streamer. So you might be able to relate to what I'm saying, but to you guys, the game might seem fresh. Uh, the Battle Pass just dropped. We got a new legend, um, Octane, and supposedly there's some new updates to come, like the L-Star gun supposed to be coming uh, with the Battle Pass. That was uh, mentioned in the roadmap. I will show that here. And so it's kind of exciting with these new updates coming. Uh, but for a casual gamer, it seems like the game is still a little bit fresh. Now, from the perspective of a Twitch streamer, slash YouTuber, uh, this game probably could seem to be getting boring. There's some Twitch streamers like Shroud and Dizzy that play the game constantly. It's kind of their career, and it's getting dry. Um, there's no map changes. There is uh, The new gun has not uh, came to the game yet, the L-Star. Uh, we have only gotten the Havoc. Um, the updates are just kind of bug fixes and stuff. Um, so it's not much as far as creating content and uh, making fresh videos and showing new gameplay. Nothing's really changing. The only thing that is kind of uh, entertaining on that side of, as far as content creation and the streamers is kind of like the glitches. Uh, there's funny ones with uh, Gibraltar Shield and uh, Caustic's uh, Gas Traps. Um, just stuff like that and also just really crazy high kill gameplays. Other than that, there's no new fresh content, no new videos to make. So it's kind of running dry as far as those types of people. Now, on a third perspective that I would kind of like to share and just kind of open your mindset up a little bit, guys, is that the game is brand new. This is the first season. So comparing this game to a game like Fortnite, which is people this, their comparison is very unfair because Fortnite is in Season 8. It's a well-developed game, so they're able to throw out fresh changes and updates and work with different ideas just because the way the game is structured with game modes and all that. Um, I, I, I just want to encourage you guys to be patient with Apex. And along the way, I see there being game modes released. I see there being big changes once they iron out all the kinks. Uh, Apex is dealing with a lot of cheaters right now, and there's in my opinion, major issues that are more important to be addressing than releasing content into the game. I think once they get these things ironed out, as far as fixing some of the server issues and the lag and the cheaters, this stuff's going to come. Um, as you can see in Fortnite, there's not very many cheaters in Fortnite. It is very hard to cheat in Fortnite because they address these issues early on. So I think Apex Legends is doing it right as far as prioritizing the things that they need to be taking care of and handling uh, the major issues. So be patient, guys, and um, I hope this video helped a little bit. I just wanted to share my ideas and just encourage you guys to um, not conform to the opinions of the masses. Just because a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber or somebody big out there is saying this game's trash, this game's getting boring, if you're enjoying the game, play the game. Who, else, who cares about what other opinions are out there? if you're having a great time with your friends. So I hope this video helped you guys um, in any way and just give you a little bit of encouragement, something to think about. And I appreciate you watching and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Later, guys.